Okay, good morning. This is a test I want to do today, fixing one of my uh, trackers in the flat position. Uh, that's tracker number t uh, two, and uh, it's partially shaded right now early in the morning behind number one. And there's number three, 8 a.m., 444 watts. There's the little trainer panels coming off the battery charge. Uh, well, that's the ones on tracker number two, that's 124. I got that one turned off, and we got uh, 9.5 amps coming in, charging the battery out at 18.4. Okay, now I'm going to go outside and do the Okay, I'm back in the house now. There's a shot from the outside. There's the chair with the, the clock in it. There's tracker number three set flat. That's number two, tilted all the way to the west, and tracker number one. And uh, I refer to those as TR1 and TR2, and then TR2, big letters, and TR3, big letters. Tracker number three, 156. This tracker number two, facing the sun, 472. And there's the 270 watt sopper panels at 143. And the charge control is now up to 11 amps in bulk mode. And those two trainer panels each put out 7.48, so close to 15 amps at 30 and almost 30 amps into the charger. And you can see once again they double. Alright, I'm going to go load this up so you can see what I'm doing. This was a request to check the uh, accuracy.
Okay, a little quick update. Six o'clock. Come in, take my meds. Now let's look at the tracker. A bunch of stuff I was doing today, experiments and trying to make things work. What do we have here? We got 434 watts at 6 p.m. on the tracker. <coughs> Cords everywhere. Now on the fixed panel, which is the same, look. 113 watts. There's the little power jack guys. 135. And there's 440 watts on the Trina panel, so there's still 204 watts coming in there on the tracker also. Okay, that's quick enough for that. That's just a fill in. Show you what's happening as of 6 p.m.